welcome back. Today I am doing something different. Of course I say that every time I think. This is an 8x10 canvas and I have leveled it so it's level on all sides. If it's not level it'll pull your paint off and we don't want that to happen. So I did that cross and I wanted to do another one and I started with an idea of using a white background and I was going to use purple and I wasn't sure what other colors I was going to use and then all of a sudden I decided I'm going to use black for a background so this is Jet Black by Apple Barrel and then my colors totally changed also on top of the black I'm going to put the Gold Extreme Glitter by Folk Art and then I'm going to use Neon Pink by Folk Art and then Neon Blue by Folk Art and then I'm going to finish it off with Glow Green by Folk Art since it'll be the top color I'm hoping that it will glow in the dark like it's supposed to um, if you put it underneath other colors it doesn't because the other colors mask it and so then you've just totally wasted putting that color down unless you're wanting that bite of a green for some reason and you don't care if it glows or not so i'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas and then i'll be right back Let's get started laying down the colors. And since this is such a small canvas for trying to make a cross, I decided that I was going to use the world's smallest leaf blower. I just got this last week, so I'm really excited to try it out. I've used one before, but I didn't have one of my own. That's an awful lot of color going down. The only thing is when I used this before, it didn't show up very well. So I'm okay with having a little extra, I think. All right. Wow, this is such a pretty pink. I'm hoping with the pink and blue on top of each other that we'll get some purples in there too. I think I'm going to start here and blow up. I wish I would have brought this line down just a little bit. I think it's a little too high to really blow that out decently. But I'm going to blow this way 
and then I'll blow this way, and then this way, and then that way. Okay. Maybe I'll blow this one next. Wow, you can definitely see the gold in there. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the way you can still see the cross shape. This is a little bit flatter here than the other side, but I think that's fine. And the colors are a little more bold up here than down here, just because there's more that got blown out down here than up here. So there's some pretty cells and lacing along the edges which I really like and then there's just some subtleness on the edges also where that gold is so I will bring you down for a close-up here it is I think it's really pretty I like it I love the way that the colors worked out there is some purple like i was hoping for so let me get you a little closer see all those pretty cells and lacing oh i just love how it turned out i'm so excited i'm so glad that that's what i decided to go with i don't do a whole lot with black backgrounds i've done some But I think this is just really neat, especially with the fact of the the darkness. And then you've got this brilliant brightness of the cross. Which is what happened. The world was in darkness and sin. And Jesus dying on the cross is what brought light to the world. All right, I'm going to turn off the studio lights so that you can see it better. Here it is with the lights off and the flash on. Look at how that gold really plays in there. And all the pretty cells and lacing. I just love how that is through there. I just love it. And all of these colors, look at how they just work with each other. Oh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Look at how it sparkles. What's going to be fun is when I look at it in the total darkness and see how that neon, or not the neon, but how the glow shows up. And of course, if somebody has a black light, the neon's gonna show up really good too. So that's gonna be exciting. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. I almost wish I was keeping this for myself. It's 
So there's this. Oh, I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are there any other colors that you think I should try with this? And if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would. And if you like this, please smash the like button. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and also, there is a link at the bottom, TammyVonArt at gmail.com. If you see anything that I've created that you like, even if I don't end up having that same one, I can make you something similar. I can use the same colors. So reach out to me if you want to. Bye.